I'm making my final modifications to the X650 quad. I needed to raise the top deck, which I did last night, but didn't like it, so I wanted to redo it. <clears throat> I redid the sonar today. That's this wire right here going into one. And then I turned around <laughs> and did it all over again. You notice these wires, the hot negative, hot negative, hot negative are gone out of this rail, these two rails. And the hot and negative are now over in RC8. I use RC8 for return to launch. So there's no need for any signal out of that. So I can pick up my 5 volts here from the BECs and the ESCs. And not induce noise into the APM by... Uh, tapping in here or here for power. As long as this jumper, JP1, is extracted, not connected, then these are not connected. They're separated. If you do put the JP1 on, then all these rails are all connected. You're going to get noise induction. Signal straight down this rail. Power straight down this rail, ground straight down this rail, just as it is on the other side. Uh, signal in top, power in the middle, power in the bottom, and you can see here I'm just taking the plus 5 volts and ground from here running my signal from the sonar to the sonar signal pin running my pan and tilt for the pan and tilt servos signal only on these rails that way my power any fluctuations in power caused by uh, power changes in the motors as it climbs or goes under load or comes off of load cause fluctuations in the power uh, it won't make a bit of difference to the APM the autopilot system if you put them over here on these rails you can get in trouble because it will actually use the 5 volts through the power input to the APM and it will use the 5 volts inside the APM on these rails. And you can't put an external power source on these rails because they are part of the APM and they would, if they had over voltages, blow up your autopilot. All those things would result in an instant crash. Blow up your autopilot, you're done. Uh, voltage fluctuations coming in to the APM's voltage on the ground or hot on these rails can also do as much damage as uh, um, just plain shorten out the whole APM. So I'm not going to be attaching more to these rails here because I'm going to quit using this APM 2. Point, what was this? This was a 2.25, I think, or 2.6. They're last because they're discontinuing it. And yesterday they announced that the new Pixhawk, which I'm using, now has redundancy for GPS, compass, etc. I'm getting ready to put two GPS systems on my Pixhawk systems so that I'll have fail-safe fall back. It'll read one GPS at 800 kilohertz and reads the other one at 1 kilohertz. Uh, it chooses between the two of them constantly switching back and forth by which one it detects as being the most accurate. So that cuts down your GPS error a whole lot when you have two. 
If they agree completely, we use that value. If they disagree, we throw away the value and read again until they agree basically how it works. <clears throat> if they don't agree in a certain time period, then we take the value of the last known good one and then we recycle another cycle. See if they agree. They agree, we take it. They don't agree, we go back into an error loop. Uh, they're going to put multiple gyros in. I'm not sure how we're going to do that because the gyros are inside the Pixhawk. One set is. I guess they're going to introduce an external gyro so that I can also put an external gyro system on the Pixhawk and then I'll have two gyro systems that will be doing the same thing. The APM does not have the floating point capability of doing those calculations. Just not there. The Pixhawk is the only one that has the capability of doing those mathematical calculations. So they're the first ones to come out with du two dual GPS's, dual gyros, just dual everything. It's fail safe. The downside to that is two GPS's are going to add weight. So there's give and take in electronics. I'm going to order a, another GPS in the next few days and start playing with the dual setup because I think that's just that's going to be great. I cut the standoffs from last night like I said I was going to do and shortened the screws and got that all buttoned up. So pretty much this one is a done deal. I'm not going to be doing anything more to this one at all. Fly it till it dies. Uh, have a good one.